How's it, everyone? Welcome to another string review right here on Open Court. So today I'm reviewing a string that, to be honest, I wasn't too interested in trying before. This string came out a few years ago and it's made by Babla. And Babla doesn't make my favorite polyesters, unfortunately, but I finally got my hands on this string and decided to give it a try. What is that string? It is the Babla RPM Power. So before I get into this, if you guys like this content, be sure to overhead smash that like and subscribe button to keep the content coming. Let's check out the RPM power. So when it comes to strings, Babla is known for their VS natural gut line. They've been making that string for over 100 years. When it comes to polyester, the RPM Blast is their best seller and is used by pros such as Rafael Nadal and Stan Wawrinka to name a few. I've said before that the RPM Blast is not one of my favorites. It's a very dead feeling string. It doesn't really give you much connection to the ball. It's very muted and dampened. So Babala went out to fix that and they came up with this, the RPM Power. So the philosophy behind this RPM power is that Babala paid attention to players' feedback and they noticed that a lot of players, myself included, actually pay attention to the sound and that popping sensation when the ball strikes the string bed and a lot of players like to feel and hear that sound of striking the ball and so the RPM power came into existence. The construction of this is very different. During the extrusion process, they use a different formula and they give it a special coating to provide that flexibility for that power as well as that coating to provide that popping sensation to get that satisfying sound when you strike the ball aggressively. The main reason I finally decided to try this RPM power is because supposedly this is the string used by my current favorite ATP player Dominic Team, and the amount of spin he gets on his kick serves in an 1820 pure strike is unbelievable and he's one of my favorite players. So I finally decided to give this RPM power a try. So I got it strung up here, my head graphene 360 speed MP. This is a very open 16 by 19 string pattern. So I got it at 55 in the mains and 53 in the crosses. And I'm trying out the 125 millimeter gauge. And as you guys can see, I got it in this nice blue color. It was originally released in that bronze. Uh, I think it was called like metallic brass color or something. It's a brown string but I wanted to try it in this blue string. So let's get on the court and let's talk about the RPM power. So starting out with the pros of the Babala RPM power, there are a notable few. For example, because it's called the RPM power, it is pretty powerful for a poly. It's very soft, very comfortable, probably not quite as soft as for example, polyfiber TCS or head links, those really soft and smushy strings. But it is very comfortable and easy on the arm and does provide a lot of power. My favorite shots to hit with this string were my flat serves and my high volleys, overheads, anything that I was able to put away above my shoulder. Even the chest high volleys where I was able to step in and really punch through those volleys, those had a lot of penetration through the court and I won a lot of easy points at the net with this racket. The low volleys were a little bit more of an issue. They were very hard to control and sometimes they popped up high or they sailed long. So I really had to be disciplined with my backswing on those low volleys. But anything high was pretty much an easy point at the net. It also does live up to its reputation of having a crisper response than the RPM Blast. I definitely felt more connected to the ball, but it still doesn't reach the heights of a Tour Bite or a Head Links Tour or a Luxalon Alu Power. Those strings play a lot more lively. I get a lot more response and feedback in my arm with those strings. The RPM Power is still not quite on par with those, but it definitely gave me more than RPM Blast, which is honestly one of my least favorite strings because that string plays so dead. Also the popping sensation when I strike the ball cleanly in the sweet spot on a fast aggressive swing is very satisfying and provided a lot of penetration, good depth. My flatter backhand from the baseline definitely worked a little better than my forehand because I hit more of my backhand on a line. The RPM power was able to unlock a little bit more MPH but it didn't really do too much for me in terms of the spin. I'll touch on that a little bit later but definitely I felt that the flatter shots were better. The flat serve, my flat backhand, flat overheads, flat high volleys, 
those are the shots that really benefited the most for me personally with this RPM power. Because of its soft and springy response, this string also has easy net clearance, it has a high launch angle. Depending on the type of player you are, that might be a detriment, but I think a lot of people who are looking for assistance with net clearance and depth, especially if you're looking to be able to hit the ball deep into the backcourt and pin your opponent behind the baseline, the RPM power can assist in that. And as long as I was coming over the ball with my stroke, I could get the ball deep into the court and stay on the offensive. But unfortunately, that's about where the pros stop for me. To be honest, the RPM power is not really a string that's meant for me. There were a lot more cons than pros for me personally, and let's touch on those now. So for me, the biggest con with the Babla RPM power is its lack of spin potential. The string movement is very high. When I was stringing this racket, I felt that the surface of the string was very smooth, but it's not really that glossy or slippery. But because the string is so elastic, the string movement level is high, it really displaces out of position. But because it doesn't have that slippery coating, it doesn't really snap back. And just in my first play session alone, I was noticing that the strings were getting stuck out of place. All the strings would shift to one side if I hit a really aggressive topspin ground stroke on my forehand and I had to constantly flip the racket over to the other side so it'll displace back into position and this became a chore that I really had to focus on and it really reduced the spin potential. I put it in my Speed MP which has a very open 16-19. The crosses are very open so the mains move a lot. This was probably not the best setup to put this string in but it barely got any spin on the kick serves. They were becoming sitters, they were being returned with ease and I didn't get as many easy volleys following my kick serve into the net as I would like. Also my aggressive return game suffered as well. My returns tended to sail long unless I really put a lot of top spin on my follow through. I had to really think about my returns which is not really what I want to do. I don't know how Dominic Team, if this really is the string he's using, gets so much spin with this string. It just doesn't seem possible, especially in an 1820. Maybe there's less string movement in an 1820 but I just didn't feel like this string gave me the level of spin that I thought it would come from an RPM string. Also because control and spin typically tend to go hand in hand, the control definitely suffered on full swings. I liked it better on my flatter backhand but because my forehand has a much more low to high swing path, I sailed a lot of forehand ground strokes, especially returns, past the baseline. I didn't feel confident and connected to the ball on my forehand ground stroke. Although this string is very soft and comfortable, it does lead to a more springy response which makes hitting drop shots and angle volleys a little difficult. My drop shots floated up two feet above the net which made it easy for my opponents to run down. My angle volleys went wide and I ended up hitting them past the sideline so I didn't feel quite as confident on those touch shots that I like to utilize. Lastly, the tension loss is not too bad for a softer poly. For the first two to three sessions, I actually didn't really notice much of a tension loss. But after that third session, the tension and playability really dropped off a cliff. There was a noticeable drop. The strings were getting stuck out of place a lot more. It was getting a lot more springy, a lot more of an erratic feel. And I just didn't feel quite as connected and it lost that satisfying pop that I had when it was freshly strung. At $17.95 a set, I don't think it's that great of a value in terms of cost to performance ratio. So for me personally, the RPM power is not a string that I can see myself using again. But that's not to say there isn't an audience out there for this string. So let's get into who is the Babla RPM power for. In my opinion, I think this string suits flatter hitters much better than heavy spin hitters. Because the strings move so much, if you have a very vertical swing path, I think you're going to wear down the string, it's going to lose its spin potential, lose its control, and you're going to end up sending a lot of shots long once the string starts displacing. I think this string is much better for flatter hitters because the strings won't move so much. You rely more on a power game, so you'll be coming through more horizontally through the point of contact, and you can drive opponents back from the baseline. I think this string is more suited towards that type of player. It also is a decent volley string. For the slices, the string doesn't display that much because the velocity at which you hit volleys is not as quick as ground strokes typically. But definitely the flatter volleys or the high putaways or overheads or even just chest high volleys, those feel really good with this string. So if you're a serve and volleyer that doesn't hit primarily kick serves, more of a slice or a flat server and you like to volley, this could be a good string for you. Or if you're just a flat baseline hitter, the RPM power definitely gives you more comfort, it's easy on the arm and will give you that penetrating power 
to dictate points from the baseline. So the RPM power was a string that I was very curious to try. I'm glad I tried it even though I was a little bit more on the negative side with this string. It's not a string that I can see myself using. I do love Bob La's natural guts but their polys don't really mesh with me so I'm still looking for that elusive Babala poly that will finally win me over to their poly line. Thanks for watching this string review of the Babala RPM Power right here on Open Court. If you guys like this content be sure to overhead smash that like and subscribe button and I'll see you on an open court.